Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home automation with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to this old thing. Uh, this is something I used a great many years ago to control Windows Media Center using its remote. Uh, I, later on, I realized that remotes are so passe, and it was time to move on to using my voice to control things. And these went in the loft, and I forgot about them until very recently. Uh, when someone said, Paul, how can I switch my PC on and off with Alexa? And I thought, wait a minute, this thing still is useful. So I got it back out of the loft again, because if I can control it with the remote, I can control it with this. Uh, the Broadlink RM Pro, if you don't have one already, buy one because it rules. Uh, there are links in my description if you want to buy one of these, you'll be helping to support my channel. Uh, this thing can blast infrared and RF frequencies if you haven't seen it before. Uh, and if it can blast infrared frequencies to this, it can switch my PC on and off. Uh, now this guide does move pretty quickly if you're new to my channel and you're thinking, God Paul, that's way too fast. Uh, there's a video uh, here which will show you how to do all this in a greater detail at a more sensible pace. Uh, if you're used to my channel, let's go. So it's been a very long time since I've actually plugged one of these in. And in Paul Hibbert style, I'm just going to do it on camera without having any idea what the outcome is going to be. Uh, so that is installing the driver for this little thing. And the idea is this thing should be able to put the computer into sleep, uh, into sort of like proper full uh, suspension with all the fans switched off and be able to bring it back out of sleep with the same button. So. I'm going to give that a go now. You beauty. So my PC is switching itself off now and I should hear the fans go off in a second, hopefully. Awesome, fans have gone off. <laughs> it works. So it's been a long time, so this is literally plug and play, I haven't done anything. Let's switch it back on again. Yes! Excellent. So these things cost like 12 quid and can switch the computer right into fan off complete standby and power it back up again uh, just at the press of a button. So all we need to do now is get Alexa to be able to control that. Uh, if Alexa can control that, Alexa can switch the PC on and off. Awesome. So those of you that have watched my videos before will already have a pretty good idea as to what I'm about to do. Uh, Alexa can control any infrared device as long as you've bought yourself a Broadlink RM Pro and have an Android device acting as a bridge between Alexa and the Broadlink RM Pro. When you speak to Alexa, Alexa will uh, fire the request to the Broadlink RM Pro via the Android device and the Broadlink RM Pro in turn is going to fire an infrared signal to our PC to wake the PC up or to put the PC to sleep. So the first thing I need to do is teach the Broadlink RM Pro how to control uh, my PC. So all I'm gonna do is open up the eControl app. Uh, I'm gonna go to add a new remote. Uh, I'm gonna go to user defined, sort in order. And now we're gonna create a little remote for controlling my PC. Uh, now this is a Windows Media Center remote, so I could add all of the buttons to control a Windows Media Center. And then from then on, I could use my phone to control my Windows Media Center. Uh, I'm a Kodi guy, I don't really use Windows Media Center, uh, but you could control Kodi this way as well if you wanted to. Um, but I'm just gonna create a power button for toggling on and off. When I press this button, nothing's gonna happen because the Broadlink doesn't know how to control my PC yet. And the first thing it's gonna do, it's gonna ask me to teach it how to uh, switch the PC on and off. There you go, I've got the option to learn single, or learn a combination of buttons. So I'm going to uh, get it to learn a single button. So it's now listening in the real world and I'm going to press the button on my remote. And it's now learnt the on off command to control my PC. So I'm gonna test it works uh, by pressing the power button on my remote and I should see my PC switch off. And I can see my PC is now going to sleep. So that's awesome. So I can now throw my Windows Media Center remote in the bin. It's no longer required. Uh, I now have the Broadlink RM Pro capable of switching the PC on and off. I'm just gonna press it one more time to make sure it switches my PC on. Which it has. Okay, so I now have a power button in my remote, uh, which is currently called Sort in Order. I'm gonna change that. Device info, I'm gonna name this. 
music room PC. Save that. Uh, I might want to give it a, a better looking image. So uh, in the device info as well, I'm just going to choose an icon. I'm going to take a picture of my Windows Media Center remote. Okay. Save that. Go back. Cool, we now have a music room PC remote, which I can uh, press the power button there to turn my PC on and off. Uh, so the next thing to do is to uh, share those devices with the RM plugin. So the RM plugin is the software that is broadcasting to uh, she that shall not be named, um, is broadcasting the infrared codes and RF codes as devices. Uh, so I'm gonna press share in here Share to other phones in WLAN, and I'm now going to open the Broadlink RM plugin, which you'll have to buy from the marketplace. It's not expensive. And in a moment, this will uh, download the codes from the eControl app, including the one that we've just created. Uh, and the RM plugin, there you go, has now imported that code. The RM plugin now has all the information it needs to be able to control my PC to switch it on and off. So I'm now going to go to Alexa Bridge, enable that, enable the Alexa Bridge. Auto start on boot, which means that this Android device now, if it reboots, it will continue to advertise to she that shall not be named uh, those devices. Uh, I go to Alexa device list to add a new Alexa device. I should keep referring to her as she that shall not be named because otherwise she's going to keep hearing me, which is super annoying. Uh, so I'm going to call this PC. That's a terrible idea. Don't do that. If you do that, uh, you're going to want to do it like that. Uh, she won't hear the word PC. She'll hear that she'll be listening for the word PUK if you put in P and C. Uh, I think it might work if you put full stops in between, but if you want to do PC, do it that way. Uh, I'm going to make it more likely that she's going to hear me. I'm going to call this Music Room Computer. Okay. On command, single device, selected code. Uh, and I'm now going to find... right at the bottom there. So if you're doing this for the first time, you won't have anything in here. It's just because I have a million Alexa devices that I've created over the last six months. Uh, so music room, PC, power. So it's just a toggle. Uh, and I'm gonna tick that to say, yeah, and I'm gonna choose an off command. And it's the same one again, single device, select an existing code, scroll all the way to the bottom, music room, PC, power, okay. And then tick that, tick that. If you have updated your settings, simply tell Alexa to scan for new devices. So let's do that. Alexa, scan for new devices. Starting discovery. This can take up to 20 seconds. If you have Philips Hue, press the button on your bridge. So she's now scanning for devices. She's going to find what she thinks are Philips Hue lamps, when in fact, she's being lied to. Uh, what she's going to find is my uh, computer which I've named um, Music Room Computer. Discovery is complete. I found 16 smart home devices. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. Okay, so we've got 16 smart home devices. That's because the RM plugin that I am using has been programmed with 16 smart home devices. Uh, and so it is advertising 16 smart home devices. One of those 16 is the most recent one that I've added. So if I go into Alexa and into Smart Home now, into Devices, I should find Music Room Computer, which it thinks is a Hue light because Alexa is an idiot and I have fooled her. And as a consequence, I should now be able to switch it on and off by using the word Music Room Computer on or Music Room Computer off. Okay, moment of truth. Alexa, switch Music Room Computer off. Okay. Woohoo! So not everyone's computer is the same, of course. Your BIOS might uh, have the USB ports all cut out completely when it goes into S3 power mode. You might find that uh, pressing the power button on the remote doesn't actually put your computer into S3 power mode. Uh, I've certainly found no such problem. My computer is doing exactly what I want it to straight out the box without me having to do anything. Um, but those are the sorts of things you want to be Googling for if this isn't working for you. So S3 Suspend, I think, is the setting in your BIOS. 
that you need to enable in order for all the fans to go off, but that little trickle of power to still be going through your motherboard to allow it to wake back up again. Um, and in device, device manager, you're going to want to uh, switch off the option to allow Windows to turn power off to um, that little USB thing. It's called. It's under the HID human devices or whatever it's called. Um, if you do need any help with it, just hit me up in the comments and I'll, I'll give you a hand. Uh, so let's just check this thing will power back up again. Alexa, switch music room computer on. Okay. Woohoo! Simple as that. Costs very little money, very little effort. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and if you want to help keep me doing what I love, which is this, uh, then my donation links are in the description for this video. I'll see you next time.